had tried all the different surgical subspecialties um, and then I realized that ophthalmology was fantastic because it was very precise surgeries and you had to be very accurate but at the same time you have lots of uh, other opportunities to work in clinics and um, lots of different technologies that you have to learn. You work with all the, from infants in the NICU all the way to very elderly patients, so you always still get the broad spectrum in ophthalmology as well. I chose uh, Queen's for ophthalmology because I felt that it had the most comprehensive program combined with the most collegial atmosphere. And it's really such a nice community. Um, and I had that feeling at Queen's more than any other school that I went to. It was kind of a repeated theme that residents would say, make sure you check out Queens. And sure enough, when I did come here during my elective experience, it was, it was very clear to me that residency education is a priority here. Residency teaching and residency training is really central and core to what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And much of what we do centers around the program as well. One of the highlights of my week is often when we have grand rounds every Wednesday morning. And what that consists of is all faculty and all residents show up and then two residents present on topics that they've come up with that they think are innovative in ophthalmology. It's a great way to keep up to date on interesting topics in the field and it's a nice way to know that you'll see everybody formally one time a week. Simulation um, is playing a really big role in our program. Uh, we just opened up a new uh, wet lab with lots of new surgical tools, microscopes, um, and also models to help augment the already excellent uh, surgical teaching that we have. We have a brand new cataract or phaco machine. Uh, we have equipment for all of the subspecialties, so pediatrics, cornea, glaucoma, so that people can actually use real eyes and use the real instruments that they're going to be using in the OR to get used to that equipment. We have two brand new microscopes with two heads on them uh, for doing the surgery, so that's really exciting for us. As a teacher, we can have four learners and, and be able to teach them, and they can learn from each other as well. And we actually have a pathology microscope, and all this can be projected onto a television screen in the room. So as a teacher, we can see what they're doing, and as people learning, you can actually have more learners in the room learning from the people who are actually using their hands to do the surgery. The role of simulation in ophthalmology is, is really growing. However, first of all, I really think there's certainly no substitute to uh, operating on a real-life cataract, for example, or doing a, a lip procedure or a muscle procedure on a real patient. And Queen's knows that, and as a result, it's well known that within the country, we have some of the highest volumes of surgical procedures. Surgical education within ophthalmology is one of the most uh, difficult, difficult procedures in medicine to learn. And ultimately, if you're going to be learning a surgical procedure, especially one as complex and difficult as the ones that we perform in ophthalmology, volume is critical, and we have that. However, what I would say would be more important is the coaching. Involved. Another strength of our program is that we have a low uh, learner to staff ratio. And I think that's really valuable because it allows the staff to get to know the resident really well and the resident to get to know the staff really well so you can establish some trust which allows us as staff to give more procedures to our residents and to get to know their learning needs and, and tailor their learning plans I guess around their learning needs. What I really like about um, the, the ophthalmologists here in Kingston is they're, they're really excellent role models in, in how to be not only a good doctor and teacher but also a role model in how to behave um, towards um, society in general and, and, and being generous and um, just showing that there's life outside of work as well. What I love most about living in Kingston is that everything is so close. Uh, I wake up in the morning and I have a two minute walk to work uh, I grab my coffee on the way and I'm in clinic within five minutes. When I think about some of the other cities I'd be living in, while they're great cities, a lot of my time would be taken up by transport. And it sounds like a simple thing, but I love that everything is so close and convenient here. Although you may work long hours, because it's a smaller community, you don't spend as much time commuting. So you maximize your learning and your work time and also your relax or, or your family time as well. Kingston's great, we've got the water, uh, we've got tons of restaurants, tons of pubs and bars. Uh, it's a great place to walk around, uh, do fun things, be outdoors. And again, because everything is so convenient, um, it makes life a lot, a lot simpler. 
uh, working with the residents every day. They keep you fresh, they keep you young, they keep you on your toes, and it really is a pleasure to teach them, to help them develop their skills, um, and to learn from them as well. Each individual resident has uh, a variety of different strengths, and they also have a variety of different uh, personal and, and career goals. And the environment that we're in really enables, uh, fosters that type of uh, growth as a resident. There's so much support, and the program director, the chief of the department, and all of the staff are always there to help you create the kind of career that you want to create and to be the kind of resident you want to be. Although the eyeball is a very small organ in the body, people don't realize how much the, their vision plays a role in their full day-to-day -day functioning until something goes wrong. And I feel that the most rewarding thing of our, our career is that we're able to identify the issue, a lot of the time treat it, and help people regain their vision and regain their vision and how it helps them in their day-to-day -day life um, function um, normally again. And uh, you just see the drastic impact that it can have on people's lives.